Hey everyone, Marcus Maria is not a better quarterback than Jameis Winston, just luckier. Lucky enough to get a coach who was willing to tailor his entire program to the player. As opposed to Winston being asked to fit into a system and not giving a series of plays that would allow him the, what Bill Walsh would say, the certainty of a completion. Not surprisingly, the outcome was, as if you told me Ken Wisenhunt was going to install the Chip Kelly offense, basically he did, and take advantage of Mariota's mobility, which he did, and have him throw outside of the pocket, which he did, and that Lovey Smith wasn't going to be prepared for it, which he wasn't, and then said, Zinni, what, what, what would you expect the score would be? I would say... Something like that. I am not surprised that happened. I am very disappointed, however, that Lovey Smith and his coaching staff were not prepared. I was about to use the F word with respect to head coach Lovey Smith, but it's too early to go there right now. However, this kind of outcome is nothing less than coaching malpractice. I just have to say it. And I'm a big Lovey Smith fan. But this is outrageous. For those of you who follow my videos regularly on football have heard me say that Marcus Mariota would be a world beater in the right system. Bingo! This is the right system. So I am not surprised that he did so well. Record setting. Will this continue through the league? For any team that's not prepared, the answer is yes. The reality, however, is that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were served up as, I know this is an ethnically inappropriate term, but I can't think of a better one, a guinea pig for everyone else. So now everyone else has a book on what the Titans are going to do with Mariota, and I don't expect the same outcome. Winston, however, has to really blame Dirk Carter for that outcome. That was horrible. I could produce a better game plan for Jameis Winston than Dirk Carter did, okay? I'll just leave it at that.